Hello everyone and welcome to this GeoTime workflow demonstration. Here we're going to be taking a look at what's possible with the GeoTime extension for ArcGIS 10. In this workflow demonstration, we're going to take a look at how you can achieve a bi-directional workflow between ArcGIS 10 and GeoTime for doing structured data analysis. Let's start off here in ArcGIS 10. As you can see, we have a layer with a number of features on it. We'd like to send those features across to GeoTime for further analysis. To do that, we're going to use the GeoTime extension for ArcGIS 10 and send them across to GeoTime. Now that our features have been imported into GeoTime, we can perform analysis. GeoTime allows us to see the chronology of events that have occurred over time. As you can see, my features are displayed here in the order that they occurred. In this case, we're most interested in the top three or four locations within the data set. I'm going to go through and select those top four locations and hide off the rest of the features. Let's zoom in and take a look at where they appear on the map. As you can see, I'm getting a real-time refresh of my mapping data from ArcGIS. As part of the GeoTime extension for ArcGIS 10, we can have a real-time connection to ArcGIS. This allows me to view all of my mapping data and graphics live within GeoTime. In this case, I now want to send my selection back into ArcGIS for further analysis. To do this, I'm going to choose the Select in Source function within GeoTime. Now, when I go back to ArcGIS, the features that I had selected in GeoTime are now selected in ArcGIS 10. Let's go ahead and create a buffer around these selected features. I'm going to create a one mile radius buffer around my selected features. Once that's completed, I'm going to turn off the layer that I originally started with, and now we're going to see the buffers that I've created. Let's go back into GeoTime. What we're going to see is a real-time update of the graphics that are displayed in ArcGIS 10. Here I can now see my buffers being displayed in GeoTime. This has been a workflow demonstration of using the GeoTime extension for ArcGIS 10. Thanks for watching.